नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरी वन सो वी हैव टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट यस्टरडे ऑल थ्रू द डे ऑब्जर्व हाउ ऑफ एन यू कंप्लेन अबाउट अदर्स हाउ ऑफ एन यू फाइंड फॉल्ट विथ अदर्स हाउ ऑफ एन यू पास जजमेंट ऑन अदर्स एंड फॉर ईच सच इंस्टेंट ऑब्जर्व यूर फीलिंग फॉर द अदर इज दिस फीलिंग नेचुरली एक्सेप्टेबल टू यू आर यू कंफर्टेबल विद द फीलिंग आर यू डिसाइडिंग दिस फीलिंग और समन एल्स Are you choosing this unhappiness for yourself, or is it someone else? Note down your observations. So we are discussing step four of exercise one. In exercise one, in step one, we try to observe the imagination as it is, and in particular the feeling in the imagination, without evaluating, without judging, without trying to change, without reacting, just observing as it is, as a pure observer. and we need to keep on working on step one the more consistently the more clearly we are able to accomplish step one other steps will naturally follow then in step two we try to evaluate and see whether the feeling that i have at this moment is naturally acceptable to me in other words is it in accordance with human nature or not in other words do i want to continue with it or not so we try to find it out in the process we could evaluate the feeling and also look at our natural acceptance in step 3 we try to find out the current state of being whether with this feeling i am comfortable or not whether i am happy or not whether i am in harmony or not now having done this in step 4 we are trying to ask ourselves who is deciding this feeling for me is it me only so if i am uncomfortable is it me who is deciding this feeling or is it someone else or some situation outside who is responsible so a general tendency is that we tend to make or fix others responsibility we tend to assume that others are responsible for my current state of being and then we have complaints about others we have grudges about others and that's why whenever we have time to share about others all the time we are complaining we are you know sharing our grudges we are finding faults with others and this becomes a common tendency and what is there in our expression you know is of course there in our thoughts in our imagination so this becomes a common tendency that we keep on blaming the outside world for our unhappiness and then the problem is that i am not able to work upon myself sincerely because since others are responsible so others have to be set right you talk to anyone in general who has not gone through the workshop and you know, he or she will say that yes i am in problem but others are responsible for it and this is one of the most common tendencies to imagine to think and then we are always trying to find out programs so that others can improve right and the way we discuss about the feeling of trust that the glass bro- got broken by me while the other broke the glass so when i think about others i think like this that the other is at fault isn't it and that's why i am in trouble when it comes to me then i am able to explain it for myself that somehow it happened you are basically a very nice person a very good person but somehow it has happened now if i can examine this for myself i can find out very much that whatever state i am there in it is ultimately my responsibility it is my decision in the same situation <clears throat> i may feel opposed i may not feel opposed with the same person i can have reaction inside or i may not have reaction inside the same situation can lead to disharmony in me or even continue with allow me to continue with harmony within me so this is all possible you know we'll examine how it happens but first of all try to see try to see in step 4 that whatever state i am there in who is responsible for it is it me or something else and i do not have to analyze at the level of thought and they decide i have to see within i have to see within and then 
find out not by some analysis if you start digging inside you'll see that you have some deep rooted sanskars which keep on troubling you and they are your sanskars you have been nurturing them this is something that we'll explore in step 5 further and deeper you you they are your sanskars <clears throat> you have been nurturing them and it we have been considering them valuable and that's why uh, we are motivated by those sanskars so is it with the relation of human being or the rest of nature is it something to do with the harmony of a unit or some uh, order of the nature whatever so if i do not have clarity within me i am wrongly conditioned and these are my conditions and owing to these conditionings i feel disturbed i keep on getting anxious i keep on getting unhappy i keep on getting irritated frustrated depressed so many things you'll we'll see further that whatever decisions you have taken in your life either for your career your marriage your fulfillment of relationship all those things they have been your decisions again now that we have started exploring you are able to see this but proactively if i am able to make the right decisions within me if i am able to decide my feeling rightly okay if i am able to decide my feeling rightly then my thoughts would be guided and then the selection would be guided and then my interaction with the human being and the rest of the nature will also be guided so at the core is my capability to decide the right feeling and there also it is not going to happen by force it is only going to happen when i am able to awaken to the higher level activities of contemplation understanding and realization but since that has not happened okay so we have to work to be aware we have to do some labor inside okay to identify the right feelings and to be in accordance with that and that's why we have to do so much of effort but this effort is worthy because the more i am trying to uh, examine within me the more preparedness i have for contemplation the more preparedness i have for understanding and realization so this is something that we are trying to do so one major shift that will take place in your life is that now henceforth you will not be blaming others for your unhappiness the others may be responsible for the situation outside quite possible and it is there in any situation so many human beings may be involved so many physical factors may be involved but how you relate to that situation is your decision how you relate to the other person is your decision how you relate to the physiochemical thing is your decision so i become more responsible this way even i feel empowered that yes since it is my decision so i can set things right whatever may be happening outside i will not be unhappy i will not be in disharmony because ultimately you know it is my decision so i feel empowered also in some cases it has been found that sometimes we also feel depressed that since it has been my decision so i am responsible for my state of being and the more i think over it right i feel more depressed this is also possible do some sharing some sharing this has come out that some people have started feeling depressed but then when we go further we are able to see that we had only lack of competence we have the natural acceptance for the right okay and since my competence was lacking so i took wrong decisions so going further i have to develop my competence in place of blaming myself also so one instance is that when i am blaming blaming the whole world for my problems the other possibility is that i start blaming myself so there is no need for blaming either the outside world or myself it's only that to feel responsible okay if i do not have the right competence right i will do some mistakes if i lack the competence i will be committing mistakes and this is going to happen further also it's not that just by listening to one session or doing some morning session i am going to be completely competent no this will again take some time may take a lot of time so i am still going to make mistakes 
So there is no need to blame either the other or oneself for the unhappiness. It's only to feel responsible and then to work responsibly. Now, what is to work responsibility? This, are, this is something that we will explore in steps 5, 6 and 7. But in this step, we have to make sure that I am able to see this very clearly. So, with the exploration that we had, are you able to see that you are responsible for your feeling? Can you see this innately? Not at the level of thought. Can you see this inside? That you are responsible for your feeling. You are deciding your feeling. You can respond in the chat box. Then when you try to do step 4, you may need to go back to step 3 and find out what all makes you uncomfortable. Look into all those situations or issues which make you uncomfortable. And in all those issues, you can again go and observe that ultimately I am deciding my feeling. It's not the situation outside. Nice. So many responses are coming. Very nice. Uh, whatever opposition I am having right now, it is uh, coming, I mean, continuing from the recent past and even yesterday, today also. It is with the, with my son. I have uh, shared this also previously that uh, whenever there is something regarding his placement, uh, somebody tells or I think myself or talk to somebody else regarding that, <laughs> immediately without any thinking, it comes to my mind that he is responsible. Not I, I have taken all kinds of steps, measures, but he has not taken the initiative and whatever he has done and he is not stable in one thing, he tries for this, that, like that, placement is yet uh, up to satisfaction. So this kind of opposition I find and still I make him responsible. Automatically it comes, man, means uh, for others um, I can find some way that yes, uh, perhaps I am responsible for all this happening what is your day. but except this uh, i think i have i am able to see that i am responsible and not the the mic but so that was the feeling i wanted to share too. thank you see the son is responsible for the decision that he is taking but you are responsible if you are feeling opposed to him so once i can see it with the feeling of relationship then I can do hand holding better. So it will happen in our relationships multiple times that I guide my relative, okay, but the other is not able to take my guidance. My guidance may not be also guided by right understanding. This is quite possible. So I am into the process of self exploration. So it is not fully guided by right understanding. So the other may or may not accept my guidance also. Even if it is based on right understanding, then also the other may or may not accept my guidance. Then what will I do? The relative can be my son, my daughter, my friend, my spouse, my parents, my colleague, whatever. So what will I do? Will I feel opposed? Or will I still continue with the feeling of relationship? So many times it does happen you know, that when I explain to the other quite a number of times and the other is not able to listen, or not ready to listen, then I start feeling opposed, or I, in my own imagination, I drop the relationship, go to hell, you know, it's your life, you have to suffer, I can't help any further. This may happen when yes. our children are going to choose the career, or they are going to choose the partner. Yes, like this, partner. this happens. Yeah. This happens. So, yeah. So, this is a common problem you will see, which the parents are facing, because the children stop taking guidance after a certain span of time when they have to choose their career they have to choose their life partner you know, whatever then will i continue with the feeling of relationship or will i start feeling opposed or will i somewhat in my own imagination drop the relationship now if i, no, I am... can see that yeah no, i am giving a general solution 
so yes, yes. if i can see that the natural acceptance of the other is pure but the other is not having right understanding right so i will not feel opposed at the same time i can see that uh some exposure also is required which is there at the level of information and the person does not have enough information so one is trying to look into that explore <coughs> So the with feeling of relationship, I can allow to some extent, and then help the other keep on exploring in the right manner. Right in place of being driven by the situation outside, I can help the other keep on exploring, keep on evaluating. You know, particularly when the son or daughter has to choose a life partner, this is something that has come as a common sharing by many participants. Uh, so this may this may be there. I will continue with yes. the feeling of relationship. Keep on guiding, and if something untoward happens, there also I will try to <clears> hold <throat> the hands and guide the child properly. And I can also see at the same time that my relationship is not limited to this child. Okay, so I have a limited role. I can guide the other. I can facilitate the other in exploration, <clears throat> but ultimately the other is going to decide. Right and. I also see that the other is responsible for one's happiness or unhappiness. So I will not feel unhappy if the other enters into some unfavorable situation because I have played my role. Generally, we feel unhappy when we have not played our role properly. So I have played my role. So I will keep on guiding this particular relative of mine. In addition, I can also see my relationship with the rest of humanity. I will keep on working for them also. If I just limit my participation to a few relationships, and I am ignorant of other relationships, then many times I am into turmoil, and I am into problems myself. Is it fine, Bia? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, but one thing I I am doing whatever you are suggesting I am doing with the with my son, but regarding opposition it comes. Regarding opposition automatically it comes. So, how to do about it? Say it again. Means uh, I am doing. I am still feeling re my relationship with him, with others. I am also still hand holding. But regarding the the feeling of opposition, it comes automatically. Before I think about that, that comes automatically. That is my uh, feeling. Yeah. So for that you have to work upon your competence. Hmm. What to do? So find out why are you feeling opposed. Mm -hmm. See, if I assume that ultimately I am going to shape the life of my child, then somewhat I am over evaluating that relationship. My role is only to guide the other, <clears throat> and to facilitate the other in terms of physical facilities also to some extent. Up to a certain age, I'll play my hmm. role. If the other is able to rightly yeah. utilize my guidance, the facilities that I'm providing, well and good. If not, then the other you know, will have to face the repercussions also. So the other will face repercussions. There also I can decide my role that I can play my role up to this limit. Beyond this, it is ultimately your responsibility. So if yeah. I'm clear about yeah. my role, then I will not feel opposed. When I over evaluate my role, then I feel opposed because I am not trying to make things happen of my way. This is the problem. Now, here you are somewhat, you somewhat may get into dominating over the other, dominating yeah. over the other, or forcing the other go your way, right? Or you know, do so many things. Sometimes even feel revengeful to the other. This may happen. So we all have to be clear about our role in the relationship. Our role in the relationship is to facilitate the other, complement the other with a feeling of trust, with a feeling of respect. And also in some relations, when we have to take care of the other you know, in my family, then I can also provide physical facility, but up to a certain limit. If I just focus okay, on physical facilities, that is not accepting my guidance. Yeah, the other may keep on misusing the facilities also. So this is also something that I have to decide. 
ओके भैया आई विल ट्राई आई विल ट्राई इट सी दैट नाइस भैया सो वी कैन गो टू द कंटेंट पार्ट लेट अस कीप ऑन ऑब्जर्विंग दिस सो इन स्टेप 4 वी आर ट्राइंग टू सी हु इज डिसाइडिंग द स्किलिंग फॉर्मूला सम एक्सटर्नल फिजिकल कंडीशन सम अदर ह्यूमन बीइंग और आई माइसेल्फ so i can see with some exploration that it is ultimately me who decides the feeling the thought that i have the other person or situation outside may act as a trigger so in fact the way devi prasan ji was sharing this gives us an opportunity to help us see how we become uncomfortable in certain situations which may have remained unexplored so if you start exploring by yourself and you try to generalize this exploration you can see that in any relationship what is going to be your role ultimately is your role going to be you know to make the other go your way to decide everything for the other or is your role only to complement the other in taking the right decisions so what is going to be your role right now if i am able to observe this then that one relationship helps me to explore deeper and further to see my role in every relationship so it's not ultimately the other person who is deciding my feeling it is me who is deciding the feeling and the other person is giving me an opportunity to observe my conditioning to observe my feeling and you know, to observe my concerns if you try to generalize in every relationship you see that this is a common problem the other is not going my way i want the other to go my way and the other is not obeying the other is not fulfilling it what to do will i start feeling restless uncomfortable anxious what will i do i try to look into it ana the other can be your spouse the other can be your child your friend your colleague whatever your neighbor if the other is not going my way we like start feeling anxious uncomfortable unhappy or something else what will happen so many times we feel anxious we feel uncomfortable we feel enraged also if you look at the issues that are there in the houses so such issues keep on cropping up and people feel enraged many times there will be a quarrel or fight in the family also for example you know so if i can decide this very much proactively within me that the other may or may not go my way fine but if i am feeling opposed to the other if i am feeling anxious it is ultimately my lack of competence so i have to work upon my feeling i have because i am deciding my feeling so i am looking at it in a very general way you know this is always possible today i have a small child the child is obeying me you know the child is accepting all my words 10 years hence he or she may not 20 years hence he or she may feel opposed to me for certain things so i have to see from day one whether i am complimenting the other rightly or not whether i am having trust on the intention of the other or not whether i am doing the right evaluation of the other or not there are some message in the chat box bhaiya i have a question i am professor i have done my duties but not paid salary if i am approaching the authorities they are saying we don't have funds wait it's almost a year now earlier 2023 24 they have paid in may 24 and now again the situation is worse how to take this situation bhaiya yeah so the employee is not paying salary to me so of course it is going to create problems in my family because i am not able to fulfill the need for physical facilities so i can still approach the authorities if they say that they don't have funds okay they may be saying the right thing that is the fact or they may be also telling a lie this is quite possible so even if i look into this situation with a feeling of relationship i can get into dialogue without feeling opposed to the other and there are ways of helping the other explore there are ways of you know helping the other take the right decision so we can get into dialogue and there are some ethical means also 
to make the other and show definite conduct you know if some litigation is required i can go for that all those possibilities are there so i am able to see the other right the way he or she is the authority is i am able to see the lack of competence in the other and with a feeling of relationship i can decide ways and means to help the other take the right decisions this could be through dialogue this could be through some other means when i am trying to fix the responsibility of the other when i am trying to uh, make the other you know, contemplate upon the right feeling if some litigation is also required one may opt for it but that may be done later so all those means can be thought of and i can again see that today maybe my employer is paying me properly tomorrow he or she may not so again i can look into all these possibilities today i have adequate physical facilities tomorrow my family may not have will i become uncomfortable so again i will use this opportunity to explore deeper and further tomorrow if my family does not have adequate physical facilities tomorrow if somebody takes my physical facilities will i start feeling anxious uncomfortable opposed or can i decide my program with a feeling of relationship there are so many ways to go about it and these are some common issue that we keep on facing isn't it so that's why we are saying that we have to work for right education we have to work for and you know, ensuring harmony in the society fulfilling the human goal ji so i can see that it is i the self who decides the feeling the thought that i have the other human being or the situation outside may act as a trigger it may help to draw my attention but ultimately it is i the self who is taking the decision on the basis of my feeling thought i am happy or unhappy in that sense i am responsible for my happiness or unhappiness if i observe this over a period of time i am able to see that i am 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness i just listed a few situations you know the employer is not paying you know salary to me the son is not listening to me somebody is taking my property somebody is disobeying me somebody is cheating me all those possibilities are there so if i am not able to explore rightly then all these situations are possible in the future and i can feel disturbed i can feel unhappy happiness will not continue i will become uncomfortable okay i may also commit some mistakes in that discomfort if somebody is doing something wrong to me and i also do something wrong to the other now this may become a chain like of thing the situation may get worse further all those possibilities are there so that's why we are doing this exploration because while exploring within me i can see in my imagination all these possibilities being there and still i can see that it is me who is going to decide the feeling it is me who is responsible for being uncomfortable for nurturing something inside me which is not acceptable to me naturally okay for doing something without being aware of my feeling nice so what we'll do we'll observe for 10 minutes with this and then we'll discuss further so i have to observe whether i am responsible 100%
nice. So we're trying to observe this, that I'm 100% responsible for my happiness or unhappiness. The situation is there outside me and the feeling is there inside me. And I'm the doer, I'm the seer, I'm the experiencer, and I'm deciding my feeling. The way I relate to the situation outside, the way I relate to the person, or the way I relate to the physiochemical thing, you know, that decides my feeling. And I'm deciding that way. I relate. So I can observe this very much within me. And the more clearly you are able to observe this, okay, the more responsible you feel. And then you become more proactive. The situation that we're discussing, for all these situations, I start acting proactively, isn't it? How to complement the other in my relations, how to take care of my health, how to take care of the physiochemical things outside, isn't it? So I'm able to see that I want to be happy in continuity, isn't it? Happiness is to be in harmony. And if I'm getting unhappy, it is ultimately my responsibility. So I decide my program accordingly. Any sharing, any reflection, any question. So with this observation, now I'm able to draw two important conclusions. I become willing to take responsibility to make effort for my self-development, for my own transformation. And then I can get over complaining against others as I can see the other human beings or situations are not responsible for my unhappiness. Ultimately, I am. So I become more responsible. I become willing to take responsibility. If I consider others responsible, I do not own my responsibility properly. Okay. So I do not become responsible for my happiness. I do not become responsible for the health of the body. I do not become responsible for fulfilling the relations rightly. But once I'm able to see this, I'm able to take the responsibility. And if I'm not competent enough, then I take the responsibility to make myself competent, to develop right understanding, right feeling in me. Because it is my basic aspiration to be happy in continuity. And it is my lack of competence because of which I am not happy in continuity. So I have to work for it every moment. Isn't it? Now that we have time, spare time from our daily routine, I can see my program. What is my program now? How do I utilize the time now? Second thing, I get over complaining against others. So as you were discussing earlier also, so no more grudges, no more complaints about others. I have to play my role. and They are playing their role. And if they are not playing their role, I have to compliment them. I have to develop their competence. And ultimately, I'm not going to be influenced by that. The situation may not be the way I decided outside. But the feeling would be there and you know, inside me, which is naturally acceptable to me. Because I am able to see very clearly you know, that I am responsible for my feeling. So I get rid of all those complaints, grudges, no more churning in thoughts about how others have wronged me. No more like that. So I can get over complaining, grudges. I just want a clarity on this. Uh, like when I find that uh, one of my person is psychologically ill, I understand that uh, I have to have more, I have to understand them more than what they are and everything else is fine. Most of the time I get into an understanding that the person is psychologically ill. So it is my responsibility to understand that person better. But there are certain situations where we find that I find that it is going out of control and where uh, it becomes very difficult to handle. So uh, as you uh, said that I'm the one who's deciding everything is fine. Maybe 
you know uh, everything works out for a particular period of time okay i have this inference i have this like uh, it's not intentional i find that uh, i mean the needs of the other person is similar to mine and everything is there but there there are like in a particular situations where it is something that you become so helpless in the sense like um, I, I, my concern is i really want to help out that person but i find that i'm not able to go ahead and help out that person so uh, over there whereas i'm not able to go and help out that person i feel a bit uh, disturbed and i also feel a bit guilty over there that i'm not able to go and help that person out This yeah happens so, not all days i i might be able to see handle uh, the situation probably the same situation every day but one or some sometimes you know like the situation becomes out of hand so at that see, point of time how can i see you are going the wrong I... way let me explain let me explain yeah maybe the way you are sharing you are going the wrong way the effort is not to control the situation Okay, yeah. so what you are trying to do is to control the situation. We are not suggesting that. So I am not responsible for that situation, and I do not have to control the situation. Also, basically, I have to decide my role in that situation and fulfill it. The situation is made up of so many human beings, so many things outside. So the situation may or may not, you know, be in control. That is quite possible. if i try to control the situation and decide my happiness on that account then i will feel disturbed so in any situation i have to see what my complementarity is and i have to fulfill that why well, i tend to uh, i mean i'm not i from the uh, usually earlier when before i came to uh i used to control right now i'm not i'm not uh, Uh, controlling that situation i know that any situation when it is controlled you go on a suppression mode and then suddenly it uh, erupts one on uh, the other day right yeah but it is it is that something you know like bhaiya i know that i need to give time to myself to understand this and all these things i cannot uh, get into like things very fine in a, the very next day itself they my i i understand all those things but still there is a seed there is a kind of small uh, disturbance at times which keeps coming and going and i try to resolve it i also go ahead and uh, look into the uh, i mean go into a res- resolution of that i'm the one who's deciding to get disturbed so i don't have to get disturbed and all these things it is not a natural feeling and all these things i work i work on that but in spite of that at times of when we think about happiness and continuity so find that sometimes it becomes a little difficult or you cannot have that continuity at some times and i yeah, may have to true. work on this yes no. yes so we are not going to say that <laughs> with this little exploration our life is going mm. to be happy in continuity no mm. there's lot more to accomplish mm. so the high level activities are not awakened so i may enter into such unpleasant situations i may feel unhappy disturbed mm. many times this is quite possible mm. so lot of work is due we have just started mm. that process i have to mm. enter into that process and rest will follow Mm-hmm. So, as you mentioned earlier, we are trying to control the situation, but still, you may see that you may have mm-hmm. some inclination towards making the situation go your way, you know, while mm-hmm. the effort has to be in playing my role there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If I am able to play my role effectively, the situation, you know, will become congenial, will become favorable. That is fine. Exactly. But it's not always the case. So, if I decide my happiness based on the outcome of the situation. then i am going to be disturbed because things are uncertain you know so when yeah, people yeah. are playing their role there so that's mm-hmm. what we are seeing that my responsibility is to understand 
and show the right understanding in me, right feeling in me, and then fulfill my responsibility in my relationships with the human being and mm -hmm. the rest of nature. Rest will follow. It may not follow the other day, mm -hmm. or, or it may follow the other day and then again go some other way the next day. That is quite possible. Yeah. Today my true. family is they are in harmony. Family, everybody listening to me, abiding by me, well and good. Tomorrow one may not. Day after they may again. So the situation outside mm -hmm. can always change. Mm -hmm. If I have the right understanding and right feeling, I will decide my role. And you know, based on that, my role would be guided. Mm -hmm. So I can discuss the, with the other. I can have a dialogue with the other. Whether the other listens to me or not is the other's decision. Today yeah. one is listening to me. Tomorrow one may not listen. Exactly. When the other it's becomes a little different. aggressive, Baya, when the other becomes a bit aggressive, that causes because the chaos. Because we are trying to force, no, no, see, the other is becoming aggressive because somewhat we are trying to force certain things upon the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. See, what Let the just... problem is that we are looking at relationship in a very limited manner. Few people in our family or at our workplace, we are not able to see the relation from self to self, which is there with the mm -hmm. entire humanity. And then we have so many conditionings also that everybody should mm -hmm. be talking good about my family, everybody should be talking good about myself or you know, whatever. So many things. I should not be losing any name or fame in society. If my child does not go my way, does something mm -hmm. untoward, then what will people talk about my? Self or my family, what will they say? And I may be carrying so many fears inside. Yeah, yeah. And with that fear, I may be dominating over the other all the time. Exactly. I became yeah, a yeah. processor. I became a PhD. You know? uh, I completed my PhD, and the other is not able to do good in academics. What will the other? What will the society say about my child? That he or she is not able to even do well in academics so we are carrying so many apprehensions so many fears and that is because we are conditioned in multiple ways mm -hmm. we are carrying some you know, uh, some assumptions about <clears throat> success about life about happiness about fame about respect we are carrying so mm -hmm. many assumptions so yeah. when you start exploring the basics, all these start getting questioned. Anna. Yeah, but as you said, you know, like when I have the thought that I'm one self is only having a connection with the other self is all fine. When the body connect comes over there, maybe that there I'm also. working on that, it is somewhere uh, that is disturbed. Again there, when I'm looking at my relationship, am I looking at the level of feeling or the expression part? For example, I can have trust on every human being. But if I do not understand what trust is, then I start believing some person and the person may not go my way the other day. Mm. And then I become unhappy. So basically, I have not understood what trust is. And I'm assuming the belief to be the trust. And that belief is getting violated at times. That is that is somewhat you know, uh, disturbing me. Similarly, if I do not see respect as right evaluation and see respect as some good feeling showered by others upon me, then it may be shaky. Today I am getting, tomorrow I may not. That is quite possible. Mm -hmm. So basically we are not confident about relationship, about harmony, about coexistence. We do not have that confidence about this. And that's why that lack of confidence about coexistence keeps us disturbing. If I can see the reality as it is, and I can also see whatever happens, the way it is happening. Yeah. The whole phenomenon is clear to me. Yeah, Bhaiya. Maybe like before UHV, I was... Uh not able to yeah, 
I mean, handle uh, any of the situations. I used to go into the mode of control, but now maybe there are 10 situations. I know for sure that I am able to manage at least eight situations, but the other two situations suddenly it just falls into the other way and I, I then get some more time or I work on myself and again get back. So that kind of, uh, kind of a fluctuation happens, but I am able to understand like all these morning sessions when I'm a part of it and when I'm a part of a lot of other, well, other uh, UHV sessions, definitely it's putting me into a better understanding for which I definitely have to be thankful. But yes, as you said, a little bit of things which are there, I will keep exploring and I'll keep working on. Thank you very much. Nice, nice, Didi. Here, um, the query is related to this that we may find the situation in a lot of organizations that when you have to report to some senior and you're always scared of the senior's behavior and all that, his style of working. So because of UHV, we are able to work on that. Means I've come out of that fear. Means not full, but then still we are working on that. We are able to do that. But then there are colleagues of ours that who are facing the same situation. So how, when, what is my role in that? How to advise to them? And so this is what I... Been I in a <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that, but you understand that people are... Yes, that, that I know that is the answer. But then uh, just in a few lines, but how can we make them understand? I understand this is the whole process because I've gone through that. Tell you do that. There's no solution. But then... Yeah, so, uh, one thing is clear, Bhaiya. So if someone is not working for right and right feeling, the other is going to be unhappy. And anything outside can trigger that unhappiness. Today, yes, when yes. they are being, being uh, paid well, right? So, they are going to misuse the wealth for excitement. Tomorrow, they may not be getting the salary and then they will be in a pathetic condition. Today, they have all the powers, for example, and they are misusing the powers. Tomorrow, when they do not have those powers, then they may feel so deprived in terms of relating to the other. So, essentially, I can see for every human being that the solution lies in ensuring right understanding and right feelings. If one is not working proactively for that, so one will run into problems. With a feeling of relationship, I can guide the other, counsel the other. That is fine. But ultimately, the other has to work for right understanding. Yes, because I'm seeing that people are being affected to that extent that mentally, mental health is being affected. So that is also a point. Means I'm seeing the people some around me. Yeah, some limitation of time here. Otherwise, I would have yes. shared at length. See, first of all, people do not have clarity about prosperity. They are not able to identify the needs of physical facilities rightly. And they are also not able to see the potential inside that I have the potential to fulfill my needs. So when I'm working in some organization, this is just one opportunity. I have multiple other opportunities to fulfill the need for my physical facilities. Mm -hmm. If someone throws me out of job, well and good, right? I have 10 other ways to fulfill my need. I mm -hmm. have assumed that this job is respectable, the other job is not. And that's why I'm in trouble. So mm -hmm. we have to work on the basics. We do not have clarity about feeling of prosperity. We do not cl have clarity about happiness. We do not have clarity about relationship. And, uh, and that's why we are into so many problems. The other person needs to ensure the right understanding so that one is able to get over all these problems. Because the situation outside may change any time. Yes, Today, the college director is fine and he is very cooperative. Tomorrow, some other person may come who is very dominating. Will I start feeling unhappy out of that? We yes. can discuss it further, Bhaiya. It is time yes, now. Yes. Thank you, Bhaiya. Nice that so many pertinent issues are coming up. Ji. Yes, Bhaiya, we can thank conclude you. English session now. Ji. Ji, Ji, so, thank you so much, Kumar Bhaiya, for putting all this discussion and helping. Each of us in the journey of self-exploration.